Let's talk about how to prepare the CBSC Art Integrated Projects for your Science and Math. So here we have a kind of uh, cardboard that we take and we uh, break that down into the dimensions that are required now these dimensions can vary from institutions to institutions this is an example of a calendar that we are preparing as a part of your math science project now here first of all what we do is uh, the calendar and uh, the calendar would include three pages of science and one page of maths that would be there now in science we would have physics chemistry and biology as separate sections and finally mathematics so the three-fourth space would be dedicated to the subject and one-fourth space is dedicated to the calendar so here we have an example from physics so how we do it here is uh, we basically take a section that is here and then what we do is uh, we separate it out the lower section and the upper section so in the upper section whatever the concepts of physics let's say are being asked let's say the concepts are from optics or uh, the divergence those kind of concepts would be covered and then later what we do is we try to uh, move forward and understand the lower section of the calendar now the lower section of the calendar you can draft it in various ways for example what we have done in the months of january to february is we have drafted this with the help of a simple concept where we have considered u magnets or the horseshoe magnets that are there for january and march so in the january u and the march c we have taken the magnets and uh, e is equal to mc square uh, we have taken in the month of february so that's the way you can do something for or uh, integrating an art based approach with the science projects. Now, each of the calendars that we are taking are relevant to the specific section. For example, uh, in the physics section, we would be relating the calendar months to physics. Uh, moving forward, we have the sections from uh, the other subject so this is the part of the physics calendar that we have covered uh, next we come on to the next three months that is the april may and june now following for the april may and june we have let's say chemistry so what we would do there is in the chemistry section we would cover uh, the various projects that are related to the developments and in that uh, let's flip the calendar for a while so after this physics we would have the next flip which is the chemistry that is there and in the months of april may and june we have taken a funnel a beaker as an example in the months and let's say in the section on chemistry we have written chemistry with a beaker and a funnel and then uh, we are talking about let's say carbon and its allotropes so we are trying to uh, explain each of the components what we have done here is simply drawn those you can write certain important points categories for each of those to explain the concept further and then as we said the calendar section again related to chemistry so we are trying to relate april may and june to the aspects of chemistry here uh, introducing a beaker a funnel in the uh, words itself that is the april the may and the june next moving forward we are going on to the next month and that is biology now in biology we have the next three months that are there and here let's say we are talking about genetics mendel's law of inheritance or we are talking about the structure of cell so what we can do is in the word biology itself oh we can draw with a diagram of a cell uh, or we can draw with a covid virus for example uh, taking that to be the relevant scene here and then we can have a light kind of background uh, which could be a little lighter than the foreground and in the background we can have various images let's say there could be images of dna there could be images of cell capsules or something like that and then in the forefront we can explain the mendel's law uh, then we have the months july august and september explained with a microscope in july with a plant which can be represented as T in the month of August and September as we have done. So here we are trying to introduce the concept of biology within this calendar framework. The next is the mathematics. Now in mathematics what we are trying to do is we are trying to bring in let's say concepts of trigonometry, area, volume, surface area. So here we draw a compass for mathematics itself. So we can uh, draw A with the help of a compass and then let's say we are trying to explain the surface area and volume or bring in certain important examples from trigonometry or any other concept of mathematics that you are trying to discuss and then moving forward for the three months itself 
वी कैन इंट्रोड्यूस द शेप्स एज स्फियर हेमस्फियर और अ काइंड ऑफ कंपस इन द मंथ्स ऑफ अक्टूबर नवम्बर एंड डिसम्बर सो डिसम्बर डी वी कैन हैव अ हेमस्फियर नवम्बर वी आर ड्रॉइंग वी विद अ इन्वर्टेड कंपस एंड सो ऑन एंड सो फोर्थ सो दैट्स अ काइंड ऑफ आर्ट बेस्ड क्रिएटिविटी दैट यू कैन एक्चुअली इन्वॉल्व इन द projects that are given for this year now most of the projects are art integrated projects as we have seen and these art integrated projects have a very important role where we are trying to focus on integrating a kind of art along with the basic concepts of science and very simple demonstrations we have understood with this calendar example there could be other cases where you could be asked about let's say newspaper or some other uh, uh, concept to be drawn so we would discuss couple of those in the upcoming sections stay tuned have a wonderful day ahead